you know? Yep. Hey, we're back. It's part camping trip, part performance art, and part psychedelic experience. We're talking about Burning Man, the week-long festival ritual. Uh, there, you know, there are so many words to describe this. Burning Man takes place every year in the Black Rock Mountains outside of Reno, Nevada. Boy, when I lived in Reno, it wasn't going on. Think of it as an art exhibit on steroids, or maybe some other drugs, or the most crazy theatrical event you ever took part in. Last year, the event sold out for the first time, though. And we're talking about a big crowd, even for the desert, 50,000 people. And that's why this year they are trying something new at this year's festival. Uh, we're lucky enough to have Josh Reese here. He's with us. He blogs under the handle Curious Josh. He runs a respected and very popular online forum devoted to Burning Man, also a documentary photographer. <gasps> Boy, you have a lot going on. Uh, seen regularly on LAWeekly.com, whose images are far more exciting than the grainy home-styled video we just showed you. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, so Josh, we, let's talk, we'll talk about the controversy in a minute, but first, sure. in a couple of sentences, why did, has Burning Man become so popular that last year, for the first time, it sold out? You see images from Burning Man everywhere. Right now, it's some of the most amazing large-scale art in the world is brought every year to that festival. And really, because of, of that, pictures. there you go. This is a Soma by the Flaming Lotus Girls. And during the day, that's what it looks like during the day. At night, all of those branches that you see are on fire. Oh, wow. And, and um, well, okay, so this yeah. is an idea. We'll look through a couple of your pictures while we're talking. So it became so popular. It's like this, it's like this freeing, psychedelic, every, you know, uh, communal experience. This year, they've decided that instead of selling tickets on a first come, first serve basis, that's gorgeous, by the way, look at this, Thank they're you. going to do it by lottery. And it takes teams of people to build the structures that you've just shown us, right? Exactly. That's what's so interesting about this event as opposed to other, what you think of as festivals. Right. Because um, at a traditional event, what you get is you get the people who do the event book acts. They, you know, they hire people to build art structures. Here, all the participants right. bring their art and they make their art themselves. Okay, so the problem though is, if you sell tickets by lottery, which they're doing this year, and let's say you have a team of 30 people, who love to go, they camp together, they built the, their art together, but only five of them actually got their ticket on the lottery. All of a sudden now, the very people who create Burning Man, many of them aren't going to be able to go. Am I describing the controversy well? Yeah, you've really, you've really summed it up quite so well. So wh wh where do you stand on this and what do you think should be done? Well, actually what's, what's interesting is that there's been a new development in the last couple of days. Okay. Um, so the lottery, they put out about 40,000 tickets. Right which is about four-fifths of the tickets that are for the event. Okay. And there's another 10,000 tickets that originally that they had earmarked for sale later. What are they going to do with those? What they've decided to do is instead of just putting them open to sale, they've really decided to take care of the community. Ah. So if you can somehow prove that you're a veteran, then um, you get a ticket. Right. And it's not, it's not just proof. They have records of people who participate, the camps, and they're going to distribute these to the people who help really make the event happen. Okay, now, now, that's, yeah. the, that's the controversy, that's what's going on. So you probably don't have a chance to go this year, but maybe next. Um, now, you, however, say, and you're, one of your points of advocacy is to tell us all that we can somehow experience the Burning Man philosophy here in Los Angeles. How and where? Yes. Well, that, that's the wonderful part, is that as more and more people are talking about, and I, I hear this as a common theme, as they're talking about not being able to go, yeah. they're talking about bringing that culture to their local so give us Areas. an example. Where? Oh, there are wonderful examples. Uh, this last weekend, this is Lucent Dossier. Okay. And it's a wonderful performance group uh, based in Los Angeles who just sold out two nights at the Palace Theater downtown. Oh. Yeah, and they're a combination of music, performance, dance, fire, hmm. okay. and amazing costumes. This is a still from Labyrinth of Jareth which is another event, although not specifically a Burning Man event, a lot of the people who put it on go to Burning Man, mm -hmm. and then they come back and they bring that same creativity to places in Los and, Angeles. And where, where is this? This one happens every year in, uh, in July, and it's the Labyrinth of Jareth Fantasy Masquerade Ball. Is what? The Labyrinth of Jareth Fantasy Masquerade Ball. Ball. All right, this is another shot from that. Yeah, and the costumes of the attendees, these are attendees. How These do, aren't the people putting on the event. So how do people plug in? Do they read your blog? How do they plug into events like this that give the same vein of, um, I don't know, pathos that, that Burning Man creates? Um, well, I've got a, 
My blog, CuriousJosh.com, there's a mailing list that you can sign up for, and I send out every week about what's going on here. Also, I've got a weekly photo gallery on LAWeekly.com. Okay. All right. And there's wonderful stuff that's happening every weekend in Los Angeles. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, and this, this is, finally. So this is the Do Lab. They're a group that, um, they put on wonderful music and arts events in Los Angeles, and they started out making these big structures for Burning Man, uh -huh. and now they populate events like Coachella. If you've seen the center stage at Coachella, or some of the sure. big art there, here's one of the stages that they set up for Coachella a few years ago. Wow, all right. Isn't that amazing? Josh Reese, uh, and give us your blog uh, location one more time. CuriousJosh.com and LAWeekly.com. And LAWeekly.com. Josh, thank you very much. Thanks for having you me. You think they'd even accept me? Oh, everyone. All right, all right. Radic all right. It's about radical inclusion. About, oh, that's cool. All right, Josh, yeah. thanks very much. All right, coming up, everybody, saving the California dream. Are you in danger of foreclosure? We have an expert here to give some advice on what you need to do to help protect your finances and your family. But first, he plays Samuel on the hit, on the hit show Mike and Molly. I love this scene. The very funny Nyambi Nyambi joins us in studio next. Somewhere? Is Nyambi over there? Where is he?